This is Olga Kirschenbaum with nine minutes of Creative Wisdom Podcast, where creatives share their wisdom. It is six questions in nine minutes because creatives have a short attention span. So let's get to it. <laughs> I love that. I love that, Olga. Thank you. <laughs> in a few sentences, tell me who you are and what you do. Yes, so this is Angel Rebo. My brand is the CEO Confident. I'm originally from uh, near Barcelona, but I lived in Plano, Texas, north of Dallas. I've been here for the last 10 years. And what I do, basically, both corporate CEOs and established entrepreneurs, they hire me to bridge the gap globally for expansion and exposure as a way to accelerate the growth of their businesses. My life passion and purpose is actually my foundation. It's called Wisdom for Kids or Our Foundation, where we help underprivileged kids in Latin America become entrepreneurs using their local resources. I consider myself to be the connector of the unconnected. That's beautiful. What is your favorite part about being a creative leader? I love create, creating. I mean, I, have, I always have those amazing ideas, you know? So what I like the most probably I would say is like just having this epiphany and, and, and wanting to write down the idea and, and probably to like elaborate it a little bit more and, and make it happen, you know, but that's a, that's a problem because you cannot make, you know, you cannot create everything that you have in your mind, but I love, I love having those amazing ideas. I can definitely relate to that. I speak to a lot of creatives who will avoid the money side of their businesses. They'll pretty much do anything to avoid it. What are your thoughts on that? Yeah, I think that we, we, the entire formal education system does not give us really many chances to become acquainted with the realities behind money, what money really is. So I'm not surprised that then we struggle as we grow up and then we want to avoid it as something that we don't feel comfortable with, we don't know how to manage it. So I totally relate with that. And I think that it's very easy to solve just learning a little bit more about it, but we have to be, still be a little bit uncomfortable to be eventually comfortable with it. Absolutely. You have to get uncomfortable to get comfortable with it. Love that. Yeah. Who are the creatives that you admire or have inspired you on your journey? Yes, I would say that, um, well, there's been a few, and I think uh, one, of, one of them probably the, was the, the author of a book called The Celestine Prophecy, that his name is James Redfield. That's one of them. Another one is definitely uh, Tony Robbins, because when I went to his event, I really learned so many different concepts that have changed my life since, since I went there. And probably the last one is a very famous neuroscientist. His name is Dr. Joe Dispenza. Uh, because I, I mean, he has many books I like. There's one called Breaking the Habit of Being Yourself, which I think that I totally relate with this, with it, in the fact that we have this survival mode because we are, you know, human beings and, you know, we have a physical body and, and to protect ourselves, we have this survival mode that protects us. But at the end of the day, I think that this survival mode does not help us to be better creatives. That's probably why. <laughs> Beautiful. What is the one piece of wisdom or advice that other creatives should know? It's definitely, it's funny how uh, this, uh, this mantra I use for my business and for my clients' businesses, it's inter take imperfect action now. Take imperfect action now. That's definitely the one I, I like to, to suggest to everybody because we tend to stop doing things that would probably take us to places where we would be thriving and succeeding and, and testing other kinds of waters. That's definitely the one. I think that we put too much thought and we're looking for so much and too, too much perfection before we start taking action on a specific idea that we have. And I think that we as creators, that happens very often. I think that even if we take imperfect, imperfect action and it's only like a, for a short period of time, we start seeing other things. It's like when you... If you ever go to a therapist of a psychological a psychology therapist, uh, you know very often they're trying to like pull some you know ideas or thoughts, experiences, traumas from your life. It's, it's actually only takes to get to one of those traumas or experiences in your life to actually start you know accessing to all the rest of them. You know, and it has obviously it, it has a, a reason from a physical perspective and neurological perspective. That that's the case. And I think that's very common in our lives that when we are in the surroundings of a particular idea, thought, I think that then it's much easier to, to actually pull the rest of them. Absolutely. Now, the most important question of the podcast, Kakaya Vasha Libima Musica, 
or in English, what's your favorite music? <laughs> I was going to respond anyway, let me tell you. I don't know, I don't know what the language was. Unfortunately, I wasn't able to understand it, but I understood music. So, and music is very important in my life. I would say that, that depending on the moment, I like different kinds of music. For many years while driving, I was, I was listening to classical music, but the music that definitely has changed the most my life is, is definitely, I would say house dance music, electronic music in general, because um, um, when, I, uh, when I kind of, uh, I, I, I've, I've been married twice. Well, the second one, I'm still married and I will be forever. But for the first wife, with the first wife, I didn't work uh, as, as, as well. And since my first wife and the second wife, I started to actually go to clubs and to dance. And I had so much fun and I discovered that I was having so much fun and I was enjoying so much every single time I would be on a dancing floor, carving out those dancing floors in the world that they really, I mean, I, 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 it really literally changed the way I was conceiving my own le leisure times, definitely. And still to this day, actually, I think it was last year, last, last winter in, in Christmas, actually my family bought me a DJ table which was one of my dreams to be able to actually mix the, all those themes, all those music pieces that I like so much. So music has represented something extremely important. Uh, I think that there's a lot, there's a lot of special things around music. I think that we underestimate music. It has a really, it has a power in itself. And I think that we should be relying more on music. So uh, that will be my answer. I definitely love, love, love music. Beautiful. Well, thank you for being on. What is the best way for the listeners to connect with you? Thank you. Yeah, it's very easy. I mean, I'm very present online. You can easily find me in any social media outlet uh, because I post there every single day. Uh, the one in which I'm more present for myself and my clients is actually LinkedIn, the professional network, LinkedIn. And uh, also, I mean, so you can send me a message there. I've received hundreds of them and I, we respond because I have a team behind me. We respond to those messages, but also I would suggest that you write me an email. Uh, I also respond to all the emails I receive. And my email address is angel at angel as in, as in heaven, angel from heaven, right? A-N-G-E-L at angelrebo.com. Rebo is my last name. It's a spell like R-I-B as in boy O.com. Angel at angelrebo.com. And it's been a pleasure to be here with you, Olga. I'm still... I'm still wondering what language that was before, but that's okay. And obviously, thank thank you. I mean, thank thanks to, to be grateful for everyone who's been listening and watching us today. Thank you so much for being on, Angel. I'm going to include all of that in the show notes. And that was Russian. Okay, fair enough. <laughs> thank you. N nice to hear you speaking in Russia, Olga. This is Olga Kirschenbaum with Nine Minutes of Creative Wisdom Podcast where creatives share their wisdom. Make sure you check out my blog at rags to riches consulting.com to get money insights you haven't heard before.